Hello and welcome to Metro Arts. I'm your host, Sophia Sanchez. Here on Metro Arts, we highlight some of the best in the business, from fine artists, photographers, and performing artists, to cinematographers and musical artists, all from the Metro Detroit area. On today's show, our Checking In segment will feature Gino Harris, Michael Noir, Reggie Abstract, Jay Coleman, and Alejandro Volteria from the Poor Man's Art Collective. We'll also talk to video journalist and documentary producer Brian Kaufman and feature the acoustic pop duo Jane of Arc. We'd like to welcome the co-founders of the Poor Man's Art Collective, Gino Harris and Michael Noir, back to the Midtown studio. Hi guys. Hi, how are you? Good. So you were featured on Metro Arts two seasons ago, mm -hmm. but can you once again describe what the Poor Man's Art Collective is? Um, Poor Man's Art Collective is a collective of new and emerging and some established artists uh, who have found difficulties in showing their works in galleries here located in the city. Nice. Yeah. So what's been going on since your last appearance on Metro Arts? Oh wow, we have had uh, two shows, uh, Welcome to the Colored Section, Actually, no, three. Welcome to the color section, Thinking Outside of the Box, and Art I Is. Um, most of our shows are themed. We give each artist, well, all of the artists, challenges um, to help them decide on what they're going to create for the particular show. Wow. Yeah. Great. So what advice can you give to emerging artists who find it difficult to display their work? The best advice we can give is to be honest, to contact us, because what we try to do is give them that form to show their work where otherwise galleries and establishments wouldn't allow them to because they are emerging and up and coming artists. So the best advice is to look up the PMAC page, for sure. That's great. So what are your goals for the future? Uh, our goals for the future is to continue finding and helping new and emerging artists. Um, I myself, I am looking to do a solo exhibition starting next year, um, but it's always Poor Men's Art Collective and trying to help new artists get their work out there. Nice. Yeah. So what's your current show? Our, our current show right now, we have a show coming up in February, okay. which is going to be uh, Inspire the Initiative, and it's a, it's a youth we're, we're going towards the youth. We're trying to get kids out here and inspire them into art and let them be creative. So that's gonna be coming up in February. And right now we're just currently working on that and getting that together. That's great. So how can people find out more about you? Uh, Poor Men's Art Collective is located on Facebook and that's kind of how we, that's our hub. You know, so you can go on Facebook, look up Poor Man's Art Collective and find out everything about all our shows, where we'll be and everything upcoming. So I understand that we'll be meeting some artists and seeing their work. Can you mm -hmm. tell us who we'll be seeing? Well, we brought with us today, we brought uh, one of the co-founders as well, Mr. Reggie Abstract Singleton. We also bought Alejandro Velotero and Jay Coleman, who are all, when you see their work, they're all different mediums, just great work, and we brought those guys here with us today. Okay, well thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Up next, a series of one-on-one -on -one artist interviews. So how did you get involved in the Poor Man's Art Collective? Well, um, Gino and I had a show together and I think it was about 2007, 2006 at the Bagley Housing Gallery. Um, that's in, I think that was a gallery in M Mexican town maybe. And um, we just kind of hit it off. And he started talking about the uh, collective and we wound up doing a sh show together maybe a year later. and. It just we we just been rolling. So you have chemistry since. right yeah, from the start. Yeah. So tell so. us a little bit about the piece you brought today. Um, this piece is called Goddess. Um, I recently discovered that all my figures are are dancers. So this figure here is a um, I see it as a dance dancing lady in a flowing gown. She's jumping towards the the, the uh, sky. This figure here is following her, and this is a smaller childlike dancer. He's, he's following these two and her gown is flowing in the, um, the background with their color. So Great. I recently, as I think more about my art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So how did you get involved in the Poor Man's Art Collective? I was attending a show for uh, Bruce Leto and Jack Kenny at the Liberal Arts Gallery. And it just kind of happened magically where this conversation started between Duane and Gino and I. 
and I showed them some photographs of my work and they invited me to be a part of the show. Oh, that's great. So how long have you been involved? A little more than a year now. Yeah. Nice, nice. So what inspires this work? What inspires this work is really just our achievement of oneness, our achievement or an understanding of what goes on in our life, but then at the same time it could be totally absent right. in the moment that we think we understand what our life experiences are. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Sure. So how did you get involved in the Poor Man's Art Collective? Well, I, I researched, I was on Facebook and saw Gino on Facebook. And I noticed that he did some incredible art, and I, I wanted to join him. That's great. So I got in touch with him maybe in 2010. And from then, I became in his first show, uh, 2011, which was Welcome to the Color Section. Oh, wow. Cool. So w tell us a little bit about your piece that you brought today. Well, this piece here is, uh, I named it Jazz Masters. And uh, it's with all of my favorite jazz artists on it. Uh, Thelonious Monk, Bird, Miles, Coltrane, uh, Charles Mingus, and Dizzy Gillespie. Great. So tell us a little bit about what inspires your work. and The music, actually. The music. Yes. The music uh, is very, very uh, <laughs> free-flowing, you know, That's great. Such as my art is. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your inspiration for this piece. Well, my artwork, the in, what inspires me about my artwork is a lot of my life experiences. I had gone through a lot physically and I needed an outlet to express myself. And, you know, I gravitated towards the more bright colors to kind of offset a lot of the things that I was going through in my life. And this is the end result. So tell us a little bit about the form of the... Well, actually, the name of this piece is called Pathways, and it really expresses a lot of the different things that were going on in my life. And in a lot of my pieces, you'll see the circular, which is representative of me and everything that is coming into my life and leaving out of my life. So what material is this? This is two different types of paper. It is a Japanese tissue paper called Unryu and a, p a paper called Lakta and that is what I use in my artwork. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about the art piece you brought today. Well, the piece I brought with me today is called Haunted, and it's kind of a representation of artists in the past and just different mediums and different uh, techniques that I use to express how I feel about the art at that moment. So what inspires your work? Honestly, a lot it has to do with music music and the artists that are in the collective. I get inspired a mm -hmm. lot by them, by seeing their work, so a lot of it has to do with them and the music that I'm listening to at that time. So describe your artistic process a little bit. <sighs> My artistic process, it varies. Like, the first thing I usually do is pick the colors and the music, and then whatever comes out on the canvas, it usually surprises me as well, which is why I do abstract art, because mm -hmm. it's just so expressive and it, 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 it represents the mood and the moment at the time. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you to all of today's artists. You're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. We hope you enjoyed today's show. I would like to thank our guests, Gino Harris, Michael Noir, Reggie Abstract, Jay Coleman, and Alejandro Volteria from the Poor Man's Art Collective video journalist Brian Kaufman, and acoustic indie duo Jane of Arc for joining us today. Remember, you can watch any of our shows online at MetroArtsDetroit.com. I'm your host, Sophia Sanchez, reminding you to seek out inspiration and explore the arts in your community.